Everybody, welcome to the Golden Goblet Day 8 or Week 2 Day 1, depending on how you want to frame it. Uh, we So here's how basically this happened, okay? First off, let me hit you with one of these. Oh, baby. 60 FPS webcam, yes, please. Um, we were gonna play something different, but then, like, Saturday rolled around, and the boys were playing a bunch of Warzone. And then Sunday afternoon rolled around, and the videos have got to be out Monday at noon. And we went, what do you want to do? We decided to do another week of Warzone. Same rules, but it's, it's a twin serpent wrapped around a game. One serpent, everybody that's playing is enjoying it and having a great time. The other one, the audience is having a great time. So I know that there is a risk of there being maybe a little bit too much Warzone. Let me placate that by saying... We're not going to Golden Goblet Wars on three weeks in a row. That's just... Uh, so just enjoy this while it's happening. And the Twitch VODs are stuff that happen, like, parallel to that. It's not, like, taken away from any other content. However, if you want to see more Warzone... First off, we got seven great solo videos for you this week. And then, secondarily, Team Unity Tuesday. The gang's getting back together. I'll see you there Tuesday at noon for some four-player Warzone everything where the winds are going to be raining down from the heavens anyway let's let's get going here i played some more i bought the battle pass i turned my guy into daniel craig i uh i still i don't know my best finish is still probably like 11th <laughs> uh, i came 11th uh i did one solo game to finish off today's stream because night trap ended early <laughs> Um, so I, oh, you guys want to go? You guys want to go? I'll have you know, with my crossbow, I cannot be defeated. Ah! I, he defeated me. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. There was, I was saying some stuff. I felt like I was making a good point, and now that point is gone. Okay, sir. I'm gonna, oh, you... Just made my list of things to do today. You can't start a game getting zero kills in the pre-game lobby. How do you feel about this? Oh, it's me, but with a shaved head. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna do my best, but you know, it's a it's a spicy game. I thought we did really well. I'm just gonna call it. I think that the performance. Let's let's try to find some like good bounty contracts, like maybe this right here. The performances in the Golden Goblet last week were actually the best performances in any Golden Goblet, full stop, all time. I came in third with like a 25th place finish once, and I came in second with a 12th place finish. That's just, that's disgusting. We had to do nothing in, uh, in the NES and SNES Golden Goblets in order to get a win. You gotta come top 10 to even have a chance at a silver medal, basically. Stop shooting at me, you jerk. Here, let's just throw throw some dirt in their eye. Give them one of these. So, I don't I, I haven't watched the videos of the other guys. I don't know if they're playing, uh... I'm gonna assume that they're playing the most fun way for them and not merely trying to, like, try hard to get them, you know, maximum value out of the, the win. But, you know, there, there's some... Enjoyment to... What did I do? <laughs> There's some enjoyment to cheesing it as well, you know? That, that guy might be going for the bounty contract. Again, I'm not suggesting they're cheesing it. I'm just saying that if they're cheesing it, that's for the meta entertainment of the Golden Goblet, not like them trying to ruin anybody's fun. So we do want, if possible, that bounty contract. What I'm going to do is not sweat it too much. I'm not going to set, like, a goal, like, oh, if we don't get... Uh, you know, 75th or better, then I'm going to be disappointed. All I'm going to do is try to have a good time. And if things work, great. If they don't work, life goes on. Okay. So now, if you've never seen a contract before, which would make sense because I haven't really been doing them. Contracts are like little side missions you can do. Oh my god. <laughs> um, little side missions you can do that give you rewards. They'll give you experience. Just want to make sure we're safe that I'm going to shove some of this in here. They'll give you experience. I can live with that. Um, they'll give you some money. 
all of which are very useful on your journey. So this one, we basically, the step one of it is we get three crates, which is already pretty sick. ADS isn't too bad on this thing. Um, and then the second thing is that we'll get uh, a lot of money, enough money to possibly pick up some decent stuff at a buy station. It's on the other side here. My mistake. Okay, so we gotta get three of these. Silenced AR. I'll take the blue silenced AR. Even if it is quote-unquote lower tier. So I really like to do the bounty contracts early. It, it does put you in a spicy situation because you're running around a lot. But I find usually it's worth it. Also, like, the map is so big and so dense that usually... You don't run into too many people too early, but I was very hesitant to say that. Well, it depends where you land, obviously. But um, I was hesitant to say that just because I know that my comedic timing is so good, I could have been made to look like a fool uh, very quickly. We're probably leaving lots of delicious loot behind, by the way, by not looking at absolutely everything. So if we're getting ahead of ourselves, what do I like to buy? I really like having a UAV, so I can be somewhat confident that there's no enemies around. I say only somewhat confident. Uh, bazooka's just more fun. <laughs> I say somewhat confident, because there's perks that can change that, but... Purple silenced SMG. I mean, it is tempting, but the AR kind of fills the, the same need as the SMG to some extent. So we could try to do another bounty contract, but it's a little greedy in my world. Construction site appears to be unlooted. Anyway, while we're kind of in what appears to be some downtime here, glad to see so many people enjoying the Golden Goblet. Yo, the M4, even unsilenced, hook me up here. If you're not enjoying it, I understand it's frustrating. Um, because you're like, ah, I only needed to see, like, a couple more days of it, and then it's done forever. All I'm going to say, it happens, you know? Supply cash a package. We're, we're all having fun right now, and all I can say is I hope that that fun is infectious. So there was shooting over here. Look at the, the speed of the ADS here. Oh, my Lanta. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm a little anxious. More than anything else, I would really just like... That's looted, I think. I don't hear loot boxes in there. I think I might just bail on this contract. Something doesn't feel right. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Armor up. Well, that's going to make it very tough to hear anything. Steps? Stay frosty. Stay loose. I can't remember what kind of grenade this is. I think that's just the truck creaking. Hear me out here. We out, boys. I hear loot in there. For now? Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> Open doors, dude. Open doors can't hurt you. They're not real. Oh, I didn't even realize, by the way. We're using the wrong uh, video frame. I'm using my stream video frame. Like a fool. No. Just keep going for a sec. Oh! We saw him. We almost had the jump on him. We shouldn't have thrown the Molotov. That was, that was madness. Okay, okay. Stay frosty. You're just in the gulag. It happens. It happens. 
Excuse me, you, I thought you threw a grenade at the top level of the gulag. That would have been... Oh, okay. What do you do in the gulag? You just take a deep breath. You take a deep breath and go... Whatever happens, happens. We're here to entertain, we're here to have fun. Oh, he's got two HP left! We could have gotten a stone kill. What do we got? A pump action shotgun. Send it. No! Let's go, dude! <laughs> okay, we're dropping here. Take me, like, far away. Uh, we're not gonna make it that far, but take, it, take me far away anyway. <laughs> I'm at least happy we got ourselves a Minimum, we're coming, like, almost... Top 50 here. That's not that bad. But let's not even talk about top 50. Let's, uh... Let's talk about getting the dub here. I'm, I'm very disappointed I didn't get to go to that bias station, though. That would have taken me to the next level, dude. That would have that would have made me unstoppable. Okay, maybe top 50 was a bit of a stretch. What do you think about these tents? I saw movement down here, but it, I think it's just a tree branch. These these are unlooted, or at least the doors are closed. I'm a little surprised. There is a bunch of blood there. <laughs> this doesn't smell unlooted. Grenades are 50/50. Some people just don't pick them up because they got something better. Shotguns are probably worse than 50-50. <laughs> armor, though. For armor to be here is pretty rare. You gotta check, right? Um, sniper ammo or cash? Cash, baby. It's money! That's um, Kevin O'Leary from Dragon's Den. And then he left Canadian Dragons then to go on American Shark Tank. That's alright. That's kind of like the guy he is. So, it makes perfect sense. Um, he's always saying stuff. I mean, I don't like him. As like, I've never met him. But the way he chooses to market himself as a human being. I'm not a big fan of. You are going to be laser beamed out of the sky. He says stuff like that a lot. What is this gun? Trophy, we might as well hold. Black Asp definitely beats the car for me. I feel like we benefit from playing a... I'm just going to say it. From playing a very cowardly strategy. We've gotten ourselves somewhat looted. Enemy UAV overhead. We, I think we were very, very fortunate... To find a place with uh, with no enemies. I think that what we might benefit from is finding... <laughs> I was just going to say finding a buy station, but all that. the buy stations are fairly far away. Not impossible. Just fairly far. Oh, car. The UAV is probably just about done. They got out, they got out. Right here, I think. Why would you chase them then? That's not a natural spawn. He could be in this building right now. Hmm. It's a danger. I think I need to have a lot more patience. Oh, truck. It's quite far away, though. Standing... Oh, there, there's another vehicle down here. Pick up the scraps. He blew it up with a rocket launcher, dude. Now loot it. Okay. Mission, uh... Mission not very good. 
Not failed nor accomplished. Just should not have happened in the first place. Someone's making Jiffy Pop over here. I can handle that. I'm, I'm a little peckish. There is a level of me that is like, you know what we would really benefit from? Staying inside of this building. <laughs> and at least seeing where the next circle ends up. I really feel like running to my brain feels like it's doing something. But what it's actually leading to is a very high percentage chance that I get myself killed for no reason. So just pick an angle. And hold the angle. And maybe, like, pretty soon, we're gonna be looking at later circle stuff. Might be a... Sorry. Might be able to get ourselves our uh, loadout. Well, that might give away my position. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. All right, we gotta make... Ooh, did you see how he showed up there? Um, we gotta make big moves, obviously. Um... I actually think we should drive. I know it sounds brain dead, but cars, like, are pretty strong in this game, because, I mean, a rocket could kill you instantly. Let me put it that way. But, you could also Don't worry, I'll... just hop out in a millisecond. Driving right into the red dot. I'll stop you. You know what? <laughs> Seeing this, uh... Blip on the radar? I don't think we want to go that way with the car. Creep. Creep on this one. This is a creep situation. Could have been right there. Inside is going to help us out a lot. The great Enemy indoors. UAV Enemy UAV is bad news. Is I think you stay frosty. <laughs> I think at this point, we move house to house. And, and pray for the sweet relief of a good finish. Vehicular? Why would you even open the door? Like... But honestly... Them not being shot at tells me a little bit about the information over there. Might be a little safer than expected over there. So yeah, I'm doing rat strats, okay? If you got a problem with rat strats, just remember I won the, in the gulag where it counts. Now, take this time, get your setup a little bit more ergonomic. I mean, you, you also got to put yourself in my shoes, okay? I got two silvers, five bronze in the last Golden Goblet. You know what that feels like to me as an esports professional? It's embarrassing. Like mouth beating me in these games, that's one thing. But Dan? Dan beat me? Come on. So here's my strat we're gonna hug the mountain. The closer we are to danger, the further we are from harm. Yo, don't make jumping noises, dude. And every minute that ticks by... Someone's got a chopper. Every minute that ticks by is a greater chance for us to get a good performance in the Golden Goblet and gain some confidence. I mean, just remember, less than 15 minutes ago, I didn't even know I was going to be here. I thought there was a pretty good chance I would have been removed from the game forcibly. And yet here we are, still going. I'm a little worried about this next circle. Maybe the circle won't push me. That seems like a winner's philosophy. Maybe danger won't happen. <laughs> Eighteen remain. Little under kitted. 
But do this SMG, ready? Time me. Three, two, one, go. Time to ADS, 0.41 seconds. Three, two, one, go. That's quick. That's fast enough. To, we can get a couple of shots while we're pulling it up. Don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push me. Slide push. I think we want to go here. Going this way. And we want to take this path. Because the other side had quite a lot of heat. Just make it. Enemy UAV overhead. No, no, no. It's a bad time for an enemy UAV. Remember though, you can fight. You're a warrior. You have a you have a tool. You don't have to just sit there and take it if somebody tries to get you. I see someone got into that car. Quiet doors, please. Quiet doors. It's a very similar looking household here. A lot of, oh, there's a loot fountain over there, dude. So, we're probably going to have to do this again. We don't have a gas mask. There is a buy station, but we're not buying a gas mask, realistically. So just stay low. Maybe a loot fountain will come into this building. Plus, we can cheat the system. Look at that. I can, I can see out of my scope. I can see the reflection. What's going on down there, dude? It appears to be the world's longest tunnel. Surely we could just take a small peek out the window. What's the worst that could happen? This already broken window. Stay frosty. Just remember. Shake out the limbs. You're going to get shot at or shoot at somebody eventually. This is not going to be like a pacifist victory except for the gulag and, you know, what you do in prison to survive. It doesn't count in the real world. You got to do what you got to do. So just keep yourself loose. Remember, you're a killer. You're a killer. You're the champ. Sort of. Say it with me. Silver. 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 Okay, 43 seconds till we have to move in again. Very few houses remain. <laughs> I think we run for the the road. Or we try to take cover in these buildings, which might benefit us because there's like... It's a little bit more SMG friendly probably through here than, you know, the open highlands of Scotland. But then that area is also pretty likely to get swallowed by the circles. So we'll see. That's That's my analysis. No, do not peek door. Are you insane? <laughs> I got I'm in a dominant position right now. Why peek? You got gas in Yo! That's incredible. I still think we take this corner. <laughs> I'm not getting... Are you crazy? You think I'm getting a loadout in the top 10? Keep your ears peeled. I'm cranking the volume. Less than 10 remain. You're close now. Less... This is the first time. Deep breaths. <sighs> Save your energy. Save your energy for the top 10. You don't need to punch yourself out in the first 140 rounds. No panic. It's closing in in 8 seconds. I think someone took my building. Or, like, just outside. Gas is inbound. I don't want to take the shot till I know I got the kill. New year, new me. I hear steppers. They're like big clumps. Big clumps in the field. This next circle is going to be a doozy, dude. I'm, I'm begging you. It's an open field. It's just an open field. How could I not peek? <laughs> That's the house right next door. I'm surprised. 
I'm surprised there's not more heat. Five remain. Stay alert. Five remain. Hold it together. Purge that adrenaline. We're gonna have to make a decision. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Without a gas mask, we gotta make a call. This call very seriously could result in our death. I think the time has come. We're gonna take this outside edge. Did you hear that? That was someone leaving the other house. What? Heartbeat sensor. The heartbeat sensor. Fair enough. That was actually a really good play on their part. But still. One kill, 400 damage. <laughs> and one contract with a fifth place finish. That's gotta be... If I'm not in the top three... Well, obviously I'll be in the top three. If I'm not in the top two, I'm gonna be very disappointed. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have appreciated our best finish in the Golden Goblet so far. And I'm assuming if you watched all 26 minutes and 24 seconds up to this point that you did, click the like button. It's the best way to send a message to YouTube. Hey, this guy makes enjoyable content. You should show it to more people. Hey, you made enjoyable content. Make more of it. Both of those are the twin serpents that lead to more Call of Duty Warzone. I would ask you to do it. It's the simplest way to support the channel, and it's free. Apart from that, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more Warzone or anything else in the future. Leave a comment. I'll be in there soaking up the dopamine. See you next time. See ya!